next thing is that background keyword uh, earlier in our selenium you might have seen that we used to use at the rate before and at the rate after or at the rate before class so let me just show you in selenium for uh, executing some precondition we used to use some at the rate before at the rate after right in case of JUnit or we have some different annotations in test ng as well so can we do something in the cucumber can we do something with this feature files right yes we can do uh, we have a background keyword right you can write like this background and below that you can write the number of steps that you want to execute just like this background then given validate the browser browser is triggered check if the browser is started so like this you can write this and this will run before every scenario so let's try this I'll create a background and let's write say given before my scenario when I open browser let's say I open browser okay so let's uh, create why it is giving me red uh, uh, w capital yes okay so let's uh, generate the code for it using tidy kharkin so here it is so I'll create a step definition inside it before my I'll simply print the same thing over here and now let's run this now observe I've kept uh, two tags and the tags is here only so let's try this with the tags and we'll remove that tags and we'll try that again two scenarios have run see these two test statements before my scenario I open browser then my scenario has been executed the next before I my scenario I open my browser and then the next scenario is executed so like this you can generate you can generate uh, or you, you can execute your test 
and before every test you can uh, execute something that you are uh, intended to execute right so now, now let's try this by removing the tags there are actually uh, eight scenarios i think so right click and run so eight scenarios have been executed so let us see uh, how many times it is executed this is one then two uh, three then four then five then six seven and eight right eight times the same things are uh, executed those were those statement were written inside or below uh, the background keyword right so this is a, again a useful thing fine so now thing is that what if i want to execute it before a particular particular uh, scenario only right so i cannot uh, uh, say that ki i'll simply use the tags and uh, let's say if i use my login then only these two scenarios will execute no but my requirement is i need to execute all of these scenarios but i need to execute this before only before certain tests or only before certain scenarios so can i do that yes i can do that uh, for that you need to write at the rate before and at the rate after there are two tags we called those as a hooks right so we can write different prerequisites for different tags using hooks we don't do not specify tags if we do not specify tags it will work like background right so its definition is inside the step definition so we need to create one class uh, you can give any name and inside it you can write this before and after at the rate before and at the rate of code after of course while importing uh, while having import it will have some uh, different things it will not be from junit or test ng right so let's try this so inside the step definition i am creating a class let's say hooks okay so here i'll create at the rate before i'll say at the rate my what is the name my login below that i can write any method public void some method one and sys out let's say i am in the before okay so let's hold the mouse and we'll fix this so don't import from org.junit import it from io.cucumber.java okay so similarly i can write at the rate after so i'll use the same thing let's 
say some method to I am in the after we need to import this as well import it from io.cucumber.java okay so let's run this test I have not used any tags so all of the scenarios will be executed Hmm. so the eight scenarios have been executed but before my scenario and uh, after my scenario uh, I open a browser ah. Ah, here it is I am in the before then this is uh, I am in the after right so here the first test is executed and before the first test I am in the before is executed and after that scenario I am in the after is executed and this is the next scenario right so I am in the before is executed before this scenario and I am in the after is executed after this scenario right so these things are not executed after or before any of the further scenarios you can observe this total eight scenarios have been executed but only twice these before and after are executed and this was because we have asked them to execute before only the scenario having the tag name at the rate my login now can we do it for multiple tags let's start, try this uh, okay so this this is one of the scenario I'll write for another tag name let's say uh, registration page registration page okay at the rate registration page it has to be written like this you need to create some different methods and there you can write it I am in the let's say registration before and registration after now let's run this I am in the before I am in the after I am in the before I am in the after I am in the registration before I am in the registration after you see so just in case if you want to implement the before and after for the different scenarios you need to write the different before and after methods right with that particular tag name fine so this was it for uh, this session we will meet in the next session